Good day everyone! Welcome to part 2 of this series about the Microchip IoT Developer Guide for AWS. In this video, we are going to connect our PIC IoT board to AWS which is the next step in the map resources. But before following the steps in this video, please make sure that you have watched the previous video tutorial and ensure that your PIC IoT have successfully connected to the sandbox. Make sure that you have already created your AWS account as well. You can find all the links in the description box of this video. First, log in to your AWS account. For step 1, we are going to configure our IAM or Identity Access Management. This is a type of service that manages the access to different resources. First, let's create a policy. On the top left of the AWS console, click Services, then IAM. Then click Policies. Click Create Policy, then click JSON tab. Copy the content of the MCHP Prov tool access that JSON file that can be found in the GitHub page. Then click Next Tags. Adding tags is optional, so let's move for now and click Next Review. Next, set the name to MCHP Prov Tool Access. Then click Create Policy. We will see a message that our policy is created. Now that we have the policy, the next thing to do is to create a new IAM user. Click Users, then Add Users. We will set the name to Prov Tool User. And we will check Access Key Programmatic Access. Then click Next Permissions. Next, click Create Group. Set the group name to Prov Tool Group. Then, check the MCHP Prov Tool Access under Policy. Then click Create Group. Click Next Tags and click Next Review. Review the details, then click Create User. After creating the user, a confirmation will appear including the access key ID and secret access key. Copy this information or download the CSV file, then click Close. Now that we're done configuring our IAM user and policy, the next step is to provision the PIC IoT board. But before that, make sure that you have installed the AWS command line interface and also downloaded the provisioning tool. After getting the softwares, open a command prompt and locate the IoT provisioning tool or you can just simply go to the IoT provision bin.exe and enter CMD in the address bar. Next, 
we will register the AWS credentials. We can do it by entering the command AWS configure. Now, we need to copy the credentials from the Excel files that we have downloaded earlier. Let's open the file. Copy the access key and secret access key and set your preferred region. We can leave the output format blank, then hit enter. After setting the AWS credential, we will use the provisioning tool to create and upload the certificates to our board. Plug in your PIC IoT board using a USB cable. Then, enter the following commands. Next, enter this command. Next, enter this command. Finally, enter this command. If you have the Wi-Fi config generated in the previous video, Copy that configuration file to the curiosity drive that can be found on your My Computer. After the board connects to the internet, the Wi-Fi and CON LED will be turned on. The data LED will blink once the board starts sending data to the cloud. For the last step, we will check the data sent by the device on AWS. On the top left corner, click Services, then click the IoT Core. Select the region where your device is provisioned. On the left side of the page, click All Device, then click Things. Then we need to copy the name. Now, click the MQTT Test Client. Enter the name, then add slash sensors then click subscribe if successful the received data will now appear if you are planning to add more devices then you just need to create another certificate and provision the board all of the steps can be found in our GitHub page.